Okay, I'm going to go over a few things about kitchen knobs, or kitchen handles rather. So here's the handle. Um, hole to hole there is exactly three inches. You want to measure that. You want to place your handle on the door where you think you're going to like it. Um, then you want to open your door to make sure you're not going to drill into this. You want to definitely clear this. Um, then, so you know you're three inches, and then you just got to figure out how much you want. And then the best thing that I like is they sell these templates. And um, you can see on this template, I drilled my own holes in it to, to where I like it. And that uh, was, you know, made that. And then the other thing you want to do is for your drawers, they give you this template. And I did the same thing. Well, then actually the holes sort of matched up. And you want to, um, uh, they have a center line on the template here. So you center that line on your door and you, you know, you go down to wherever you want it. I want mine centered, so I picked the center. But anyway, another um, little tip is this drill bit here seems to be the best. Um, you can see it has a tiny point. It's it's much more accurate with that tiny little point to start your um, your holes. That's about it. The other thing is if you're going to do that when you're buying these, a lot of times they don't come with these longer screws. They only come with these shorter ones. The shorter ones are for here, and you can see the longer ones because of this extra. Um, looks like I have a half inch backer plate there. You're gonna need these longer screws, and that's it. They, uh, you know, they they come out pretty nice. Knobs would be much easier. You would just have one hole and the same long screw, and then you just have a knob coming out. All right, hope this helps, bye. Okay, here's putting the knobs on. Generally what I do, I like to put the top one on first. And it's hard to do this with one hand and focus and all that. Then come around. So now I have one revolution on that. Then I, tack, then I push the bottom one in. And then it's time uh, for the drill here. And um, you don't want to tighten them one and then the other. You want to do it um, a little bit on the top and a little bit on the bottom. And ba bam it'll be snug uh, when you're all finished. You can see I'm not quite tight there, but I can't do it with one hand. Okay, what I had to do was um, add a washer here on the screw because the screw was um, going through and it was too deep. It was... Um, the screw was too long it was there wasn't enough space here so the screw was bottoming out and leaving a tiny gap so you may want to pick up a couple of washers for each drawer